Hey, welcome everyone. Um, thanks for checking out Razor Reviews. My name is Ryan Zurin, and I am here with another great review today. Um, here we have Hands On Machine Learning with Scikit Learn Keras and TensorFlow. It is by Oriel and Garin. I think that is how it's pronounced. I'm not 100% sure. So sorry if I did not get that right. Um, so this book is massive. It's uh, it's published by O'Reilly and it's coming in at close to 800 pages. Um, so it's, it's truly, uh, truly an indispensable reference. I, f I feel if you're into machine learning, um, using these libraries here. Um, it starts out giving a good general overview of the topic. I, uh, you know, focusing in on all the popular and most important parts and aspects of machine learning. Um, it will give you knowledge of basically all the key terms and stuff like what supervised and unsupervised learning and what the differences between them. Things like linear regression, logistic regression, um, you know, support vector machines and neural networks and, and really so much more. I uh, really go covers the basics of, of the topic so you can um, kind of go through the rest of the book and, and know what's going on. Um, so once you do have the basics down. Uh, and have a grasp of what is what. So, uh, this book, Hands-On Machine Learning, takes you really into a d into the deep, into the into the core of, of like proper machine learning practices. Um, so from properly like analyzing your data um, to like cleaning your data, and, you know, getting it all ready to use and stuff like that. Because it's data that's not clean when you first get it, and data can be messy. So this really takes you through step by step. Uh, it gives you the tools, it teaches you how to use the tools, it takes you through line by line and really like what you need to do to get your data ready to, to start giving it to the algorithm, start feeding it into the, into the um, machine learning models. So, um, so it's, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty uh, in-depth, I'd say. Um, also, uh, we learned to like visualize the data using like Matplotlib and, and those kinds of tools. Uh, it teaches you how to create like in-depth statistical analysis uh, on the data. Helps you to like better understand data and, and you know how to start thinking about things. Like your your thought process gets basically more aligned to like a like a machine learning best practices kind of um, workflow basically. Also another. Th thing I love about this book is that it's in color. Let's see, can I find some color here? I mean, it's all in color, but like, I don't know if you can see the color here, but there's all the pictures, all the graphs, you know, it's, it's just all, uh, it's, it's, it's good print, you know. Um, so when you're looking at like the codes, blocks, they're like a little bit different color, all the like tables and graphs, everything's in color um, it's printed on good quality paper um, it's got a nice high contrast so, so it's, it's really easy to read and follow along to um, and speaking of like following along to things there's like plenty of uh, exercises in here there's examples to, to really um, take you through so you can start applying what you're learning um, so that's it's really beneficial I found um, some things to note about this book is I'd say uh, that if you're not really good with Python or you're not familiar with Python, then um, this book doesn't like step you through how to like program in Python. It's not like a learn to program in Python book. So it's assuming that you already have some Python skills. Um, it's a pretty advanced book actually. So, so if you're new to Python, you might not want to start with this book. So if you think you're just going to grab like a book because you're interested in machine learning and you're going to pick up both programming skills and the machine learning at the same time, this probably is not uh, the best book for that. Um, it's, like I said, it's quite advanced. Uh, it's a very dense subject. So, so this is not the kind of book you just sit down and like read for fun. Um, it's not like that. You need to really have maybe some projects or something going on that you can start applying these principles to in your own projects and then uh, you know that's really when this book truly really shines because it's, it's it's basically like a 
like a massive reference manual on how to use these libraries, Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, and Keras. I mean, these are the most popular libraries in Python for machine learning, and, and they're powerful, and this book really teaches you how to use them. Um, though, even though the book is a couple years old, uh, it's still very relevant, and it's still up to date with the libraries. You know, it's TensorFlow 2.0. Um, you know, we're still in those versions of TensorFlow right now, so it's all really relevant. It's not like outdated. I know a lot of technology uh, gets outdated real quick, but this book is still up to date and still is super useful. So I definitely would um, definitely would recommend it to anyone into machine learning or anyone looking to uh, anyone looking to get into it. You know, as long as you got some Python experience, um, it's also you know, if you're a professional already doing machine learning, this book would still be a great book for you to have. It's, it's just a, it's a great reference manual. Um, so I just say it's it's got value for just about anyone that's you know in the industry of machine learning. Um, <clears throat> also, you know, yeah, that's that's also it. I mean, <laughs> it, it doesn't really have much to, to, bad to say about it. It's just a great book. Uh, so I'd say if you're into those things like machine learning with these libraries here, machine learning with scikit-learn, tensorflow, Keras, um, this is a great book, it's uh, by Ori Allen Guren, and um, yeah, by O'Reilly, um, I don't think you'll be disappointed, so grab a copy.